All right, everybody, so me and Samantha here have an idea. And I challenged her to cook Spanish mackerel in the dishwasher. Hopefully I can do it. I saw a, a video on this on cooking like green beans and chicken and stuff. And apparently that you, it, the dishwasher cooks at like 140, well, it gets up to like 140, 160 degrees. So it's A-OK -okay to cook it in the dishwasher. So how are you going to do it, Samantha? I have no idea. <laughs> so here, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> watched my catch and cook video with the sabiki challenge while we were out there we caught these really big spanish mackerel and that's what we're cooking right now i mean these suckers were like 24 inches long they were huge so my my thought on this is that this is gonna be like a poached fish or like steamed kind of it's gonna be wrapped tight in aluminum foil like so that no water can get in completely airtight and it's gonna be in there for one cycle samantha you figured out how you're gonna yes I have. You ready? All right, let's do this. Okay guys, what we have here is an Asian style Spanish mackerel. Never done it before in the dishwasher. So we're going to season the fish in aluminum foil with some lime juice, garlic, grated ginger, jalapeno, and then we're going to sprinkle on the sweet red chili sauce which is divine and then some salt and pepper on top of it after it's finished cooking come over here jack i made a mango avocado salsa so just chopped up mango avocado tomato cilantro and jalapeno a little red onion so it's going to be awesome Smells like garlic. This ginger. Oh, ginger. <laughs> smells like garlic because we just put garlic on it. I know it's half right. I love ginger, especially um, grated like this. It's good. Better than the squeeze bottle. Just a quick tip with ginger you can buy it fresh and then keep it in the freezer forever and just scrape off the uh, coating the little bark coating on the outside and just grate it. It's super easy and it stays forever. Ooh. This stuff is good on anything. I love it with chicken, with that mango salsa. It's awesome. Very, very good. You gotta keep this in your fridge all the time. All right, so I can tell you right now, if nothing else goes good in this experiment, it smells good. <laughs> it smells like like Korean barbecue is what it, t it smells like. I don't know about that. I've never had it smells, Korean barbecue. It smells good. Now we gotta stick it in a dishwasher for one cycle, right? Can get it airtight. Right. Gotta get it airtight. This is part makes me nervous. Get all the creases. When in doubt, add more aluminum foil. <laughs> you can never be so sure. And I don't have the heavy duty aluminum foil. I just have regular. Heavy duty would probably work better in this case. So YouTube always gives us a hard time about the dishes not being done in my kitchen. I apologize. You know, if Jack would help out a little more, they'd get done. But tonight, they're in the sink because we're using the dishwasher. <laughs> So don't make fun of us in the comments. This is our cooking machine tonight. And she's the chef. Ah. So what you got going on here? Okay, I'm a little OCD crazy and I didn't want the fish to be sideways or put it on these little spikes cause it would poke through. So we have a very thin uh, cutting board, plastic cutting board that we're putting the fish on top of. Hopefully it works. This is an experiment. 
We'll let y'all know soon. All right, so this could be where the, the experiment goes sideways, but I'm not sure how that plastic is gonna transfer the heat. As long as it's 160 degrees inside the dishwasher, we should be good. So she just put it in there and turned the handle. Here's what we got we're cooking it on right here. We're just doing a normal wash and the heat is on, heat dry. So this, this should oh, work. Oh, wait and see. We're gonna go pop in into the Badlands until the dishwasher's done. <laughs> All right guys, so the fish is done. The dishwasher has cycled. What do you think, Samantha? We hope it's done. I'm kind of nervous. Cross your fingers, here we go. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's wet. It smells moist and damp. Okay. The moment of truth. It doesn't look that bad. It looks like it's a, it's like a quesadilla. You're done? Ah! <laughs> All right, taste it and see what you think. Is it done? It looks done. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I want to put my salsa on it before we taste it. Okay. Okay. Gotta get out of the fridge. How about this? All right, I'll taste it without the salsa and then with it. Okay. Does that sound good? Okay. Very good. Very moist, flaky. The flavor is awesome. You guys need to try that seasoning mix. It is really, really, really good. Jack's gonna be really impressed and make me cook in the dishwasher all the time now. All right, so here's my moment of truth. I, I, I don't know about eating out of the dishwasher, but I'm gonna try it. Got my eating shovel here. All right, here we go. It's really good. It's edible. It's definitely edible. All right, now I gotta try it with the salsa. I got the, uh, what's in it? You get a piece of mango. I got some mangoes on it. Mango here avocado. We, here we go. It's good. That's good. That's good. It's all good. I guess we can put the myth to the rest. You can eat out of the dishwasher. As long as you're careful about how you wrap it up. Yeah, it's just gotta be watertight. Put it on for an entire cycle. Let it have the high heat drying. It cooks through in what, about an hour? Well, my dishwasher is slow in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 45 minutes. Yeah, and it tastes good. So, I hope you guys like this experiment. This was a first for her and for me. Had to try it. So don't forget to like it and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and then on Yak Motley on Instagram and Facebook Yak Motley. And we'll see you guys later. Bye.